What? I got the last no- Yup, that's me. You're probably wondering what I'm freaking out about. It's just housing at Yale, right? Well, to understand the story a bit more, we have to start back from the beginning. How's it going guys? So in today's video, I'll be explaining to you how the housing process here works at Yale, as well as my own experiences dealing with this whole entire situation. So at Yale, we have 14 different residential colleges, and although all of the colleges pretty much share the same method and process for choosing housing, physically speaking, all of the different residential colleges have different types of housing. For example, some residential colleges have more singles, have more doubles, have bigger common rooms, look nicer aesthetically, stuff like that. You've probably heard this many times, but I'm in Pearson College and we have a pretty good selection of dorms. And for the most part, Yale dorms come in suites. And what that is, is basically a main common room that is connected to several different rooms. That whole entire thing right there is called a suite. Now suites vary in sizes, but in Pearson, we have the 12 pack, the 11 pack, the nine pack, the seven pack, six pack, five pack, four pack, three pack, two pack, and standalone singles. Now that you understand what the housing looks like, there are two Two main concepts to understand when discussing the rules and procedures of choosing the housing. The first thing is the idea that priority is given to upperclassmen and the second thing is the lottery system. Now first the seniors start the process where they form a group of different people and they have to lock in their certain type of suite by a specific date. For example if they want to form a septet with six other people or if they just want to form a double or if they just want to have a standalone single they all have to submit that into the form. But if you are in a group with more people you don't have to specifically say what type of room you want. Like for example, in a suite of seven, there could be three singles and two doubles. You don't have to specify that yet. In Pearson, after submitting that form online, there's going to be a lottery system now, where they basically just jumble up all of the names and numbers, and then the first people on the list will get their number one choice. This usually happens in person on a specific date, and there are also uh, housing committee representatives for each year to help you out with this whole entire thing. After the seniors finish, the juniors then go, and then the sophomores get whatever is left, and that is what I mean by practice. Priority. Because of the given quarantine situation, we are adapting this year and everything now is being done online. Okay, Arnold, now in this video, I want you to do an overlay of this. We have this website called Vesta where you do the housing draw and you can see who already has arrangements, who's forming groups with who, etc. Once you figure out who you're rooming with, you have to submit a room preference form and on it, you have to rank the suites you want from the highest priority to the least priority and you can also add additional comments mentioning who you prefer to live next to. Also on the website, you can see the floor plan on how big the suites are and what things look like relative to each other. All right, so for this year in particular, um, it was a bit complicated for me because my current suite of seven, we all wanted to sort of split up because some of us are moving off campus and pretty much all of us really, really wanted a single. And unless you're a senior or a due to priority, it's very, very hard to find a suite with all singles. This year's housing situation was very complicated for me, um, not because I don't have friends or anything, you know. Um, <laughs> After many days of researching and figuring things out and talking to people, I figured that the best scenario would be for me and a few of my other friends go to the same entryway, but instead of finding a suite, we would all have standalone singles in that entryway and preferably the same floor. So this way it would basically act like a suite without the common room and we get our own big standalone singles. I've been bugging people and emailing and texting them every day to make sure that they wouldn't wanna take our suite. And I've also been emailing and texting seniors who previously had the suites that I was looking into just to see if there were any pros or cons to the suites. For example, if the location is convenient, like if it's close to the dining hall or the gym or if there were any loud noises or anything, I really want to know the nitty gritty. Luckily for me, since I'm still on Yale's campus, I actually have an advantage to scope out the suites beforehand. I've also compiled the list of the top entryways and rooms that I want, so why not spend this time to go and check the Pearson rooms right now? Let's go. Right now with Anthony right now, we're gonna be finding some suites and entryways that are ideal. What's up? How's everybody doing? Woo! Right, what entryway do you want to go to first? Hmm, I'm thinking entryway G. G, all right, let's go. We're at G right now. Should I open that up real quick? Okay. So the thing is, I don't think any of the ones on the first And it seems like a very, very tight space. I'm like... Hmm, do we want a bunk here? Let's check it out. No, 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 no. <laughs> Alright, so G isn't doing it for us, so let's go downstairs to go to entryway H now. There's a piano down there, a couple of music suites to our right. Practice rooms. Beautiful artwork, decks the halls. All right, we're in entryway H right now, stairway H. Yo, Anthony, where, where, where are you going? 
Metro H seems just as tight and small. And I think there are only like two sweeps available. So that entryway isn't gonna work. It's a bit too small for our liking. So we have entryway I over here. Let's check this one out. Okay, so I looks pretty nice because I think three of the four of these sweeps, these are all standalone singles over here. These four are available. Um, this might be a good option. What do you think? They are cozy. I'd like to get that one right there. Right over there. Okay, so far I, we're not gonna take that one out yet, but Jay, has one suite. Let's check that one out. Shoot. This one is fancy. Someone still lives here. Get up, get up, get up. Okay, so I don't think Jay is gonna work because there's only one suite in Jay. Also, um, even though it looks modern, once again, only one suite. So, eh, we're taking that one out. All right, so we're gonna switch it up a bit. Now, Anthony is behind the camera. We're gonna be going to entryway L, and we were actually looking at this one before, because L, all four of these suites, one, two, three, four, they're all actually open. Um, open meaning that they're available for us right now, they're all standalone singles, and welcome. So we can, Ooh. no, I'm not condoning going to random suites, don't worry. Uh, yeah. Also, I think there are standalone singles available on the second, third, and fourth floor. So, so far, this seems like the best option. Okay, we have two singles. All right, so entryway A has a few suites, but it's all the way in the corner over there. I don't know what it's like, so let's check it out. Just kind of by itself, you know? Oh, what's that smell? Oh my... Wait, what's that smell of it? And there's not even a basement or anything. That's not, it's not worth it. This is not worth it. Entryway C. C looks pretty similar to D actually. Um, all right, so we're in entryway C right now and everything actually seems pretty good so far. Um, nothing too bad to complain about, what do you think? Seems all right. Seems all right. Um, what's it, what's it? Wait, wait, did I hear Wait, you hear that? No, I, I seriously thought entryway C didn't have anybody. Oh my God. Well, well, we're not choosing Entry AC, I know that for sure. All right, so right now it's Tuesday and we're gonna be checking the results for the lottery draw for our housing. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we get what we want. Let's see if we got it. Me and Anthony, okay, let's check our results. And... Dude, oh, no, that's the wrong one. Okay, nothing yet. Okay, what is it? <laughs> well, nothing yet. <laughs> we'll wait a bit on that part. I got the last no Hi, that's me again, and this takes us back to the present moment where, well, you'll find out in a bit. Number, I mean, no, not last, but 18 out of 20? I'm the 18th pick. Oh, gosh. Okay. All right, so they released the rankings, and before I was kind of freaking out because I got one of the last rankings, a number 18 out of 20 for the singles, which means that I'm most likely not going to get my room. Um, but it's, it's, uh, it's not all right, actually. Um... Yeah, you know what? We'll see what'll happen. Hopefully things look better. Um, I don't really know how it's gonna be, but you know what? Spread positive vibes and hopefully I get something good. And at the end of the day, at least I have housing. So we're like literally refreshing the page every now and then to make sure, um, I don't even know what to say. Like this is stressful. You, what number did you get? I am 14 of 20. 14 of 20. So we're just waiting to see what this, uh, what sweeps people pick, we just have to constantly refresh and wait. Thank you, thank you. Um, you took I, entryway I. Okay, that's, okay. Um, don't take L. Please, we're gonna refresh again. Please do not take L. Okay. <laughs> no. All right, so I got I, okay, my camera's bugging. Okay. My camera's not working, but I got I-22. This guy got I-32. Some of our other friends, we actually got entryway I. So it worked out in the end. I was freaking out just a little bit, you know. What, I got the last <laughs> Just like overreacting a little bit, um, but yeah. Ah, we're gonna check out the suites right now, our new babies. Ah! And should we, ah. Here we go, our new so home. We're gonna see our new home. These ones. These are Anthony's suites. This is it, this is the official buy. Thank you so much for this journey. We are satisfied for the most part, and we'll catch you in the next one.